Courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. This quote by Nelson Mandela highlights that being fearless doesn't mean never feeling afraid. It means facing your fears and pushing through them. It's a reminder that we can all find the courage within us to overcome whatever challenges life throws our way. Hey there, it's your friend Saeed Rasalat. Today, I want to share something really important with you. Have you ever felt held back by fear? Maybe you're afraid to take that next big step in your life or pursue your dreams because of that nagging voice of doubt in your head. Well, in this video, I am going to show you how to be fearless in life. I'll share personal stories, practical tips, and strategies that will help you shift your focus, embrace knowledge, seek support, and take action to conquer your fears. Imagine how liberating it would feel to break free from the chains of fear and live your life to the fullest. So, grab a cup of tea, sit back, and join me on this journey to fearlessness. You deserve to live a life without limits, and I'm here to show you how. Let's do this together. Number 1. Fear often creeps into our lives when we focus too much on the challenges and obstacles in front of us. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the enormity of a problem, to feel paralyzed by the sheer weight of it. But what if I told you that shifting your focus could change everything? Imagine you're standing at the edge of a pool, hesitant to jump in. The water looks deep, the distance seems far, and fear grips your heart. This is a moment we've all experienced in one way or another, a moment of hesitation, of doubt, of fear. Now, imagine instead of focusing on the vastness of the pool and the depth of the water, you shift your focus to the solution, to the fact that someone is there to catch you. Suddenly, the problem doesn't seem so insurmountable anymore. You realize that the solution is right in front of you, waiting for you to take that leap of faith. Shifting your focus from the problem to the solution is a powerful tool in overcoming fear. It allows you to break down the challenge into smaller, more manageable pieces. Instead of trying to tackle the entire pool at once, you can focus on taking one small step at a time, moving closer to your goal with each stride. But shifting your focus is more than just a practical strategy, it's a mindset shift. It's about changing the way you see the world and your place in it. Instead of viewing yourself as a victim of circumstance, you become the master of your own destiny, the architect of your own future. One of the key ways to shift your focus is to reframe your thinking. Instead of viewing a challenge as an obstacle, see it as an opportunity for growth and learning. Instead of asking, why me? Ask, what can I learn from this? This simple shift in perspective can make all the difference in how you approach and overcome fear. Another way to shift your focus is to practice gratitude. When you focus on the things you're grateful for, you create a positive mindset that can help you overcome fear. Gratitude allows you to see the abundance in your life, rather than focusing on what you lack. Finally, shifting your focus requires you to be present in the moment. Fear often arises from dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. By focusing on the present moment, you can quiet the voice of fear and find peace in the here and now. Shifting your focus is a powerful strategy for overcoming fear. By reframing your thinking, practicing gratitude, and staying present, you can shift your focus from the problem to the solution, and ultimately, conquer your fears. So, the next time you find yourself hesitating at the edge of the pool, remember to shift your focus and take that leap of faith. The water may be deep, but someone is there to catch you. Number 2. Embrace knowledge. Ignorance is often at the root of our fears. We fear what we do not understand, what is unfamiliar or unknown to us. But knowledge has the power to dispel fear, to shine a light on the darkness and reveal that there is nothing to be afraid of. When we are faced with a fear, our first instinct is often to retreat, to avoid the thing that scares us. But this only serves to reinforce our fear, to make it seem larger and more daunting than it really is. 
The key to overcoming fear is to confront it head-on, armed with knowledge and understanding. One of the most effective ways to embrace knowledge is through education. By learning about the thing that scares us, we can demystify it, break it down into its component parts, and see that it is not so scary after all. For example, if you are afraid of public speaking, you might take a public speaking course to learn the skills and techniques necessary to be successful. As you gain knowledge and experience, your fear will diminish, and you will become more confident in your abilities. Another way to embrace knowledge is through exposure. Sometimes, the best way to conquer a fear is to face it repeatedly until it no longer holds power over you. This is known as exposure therapy, and it is often used to treat phobias. For example, if you are afraid of spiders, you might gradually expose yourself to them in a controlled environment until you are no longer afraid. In addition to education and exposure, seeking out the experiences of others can also help us overcome our fears. By talking to people who have faced similar fears and overcome them, we can gain valuable insights and advice that can help us on our own journey. This is why support groups and online forums can be so beneficial. They provide a community of like-minded individuals who can offer support and encouragement. Finally, embracing knowledge requires us to be open-minded and willing to challenge our preconceived notions. Often, our fears are based on misconceptions or false beliefs. By being open to new ideas and willing to question our assumptions, we can gain a deeper understanding of the world around us and overcome our fears in the process. Embracing knowledge is a powerful tool in overcoming fear. By educating ourselves, exposing ourselves to our fears, seeking out the experiences of others, and being open-minded, we can conquer even the most daunting of fears. So, the next time you are faced with a fear, remember to embrace knowledge and see where it takes you. Number 3. Seek support. Facing our fears alone can be daunting, but seeking support from others can make all the difference. Whether it's finding a mentor who has overcome similar challenges or surrounding ourselves with a supportive community, having a strong support system can boost our courage and resilience. One of the most valuable forms of support comes from finding a mentor or coach. A mentor is someone who has walked the path before us and can offer guidance, wisdom, and encouragement. They can provide us with practical advice on how to overcome our fears and navigate the challenges ahead. A coach, on the other hand, can help us identify our fears, set goals for overcoming them, and hold us accountable for taking action. Another form of support comes from surrounding ourselves with like-minded individuals who are going through similar experiences. This could be a support group, a community organization, or an online forum. Being part of a community allows us to share our fears and struggles openly, knowing that we are not alone. It also provides us with a sense of belonging and camaraderie, which can be incredibly empowering. In addition to seeking support from others, it's also important to support ourselves. This means practicing self-care and self-compassion, especially when we are facing fears and challenges. Taking care of our physical, emotional, and mental well-being can give us the strength and resilience we need to overcome our fears. One of the key benefits of seeking support is that it can help us gain a new perspective on our fears. When we share our fears with others, they can offer insights and advice that we may not have considered. They can also help us see that our fears are often based on irrational beliefs or misconceptions, and that they are not as insurmountable as they may seem. Seeking support is a powerful strategy for overcoming fear. Whether it's finding a mentor, joining a support group, or simply talking to a friend, Reaching out to others can provide us with the encouragement and reassurance we need to face our fears head-on. So, the next time you are feeling afraid, remember that you don't have to face it alone, seek support, and watch as your fears begin to fade away. Number 4. Take action. Fear loses its grip when we take decisive action. 
In this final chapter, we'll dive into the importance of taking action to overcome fear. We'll explore practical tips and strategies for stepping out of your comfort zone, facing your fears head-on, and making progress toward your goals. One of the most effective ways to overcome fear is to face it head-on. This means taking action despite feeling afraid. It's about acknowledging your fear but not letting it hold you back. For example, if you're afraid of public speaking, the best way to overcome that fear is to practice speaking in public. The more you do it, the more comfortable you will become, and the less power your fear will have over you. Another important aspect of taking action is setting goals. By setting specific, achievable goals, you can break down your fears into smaller, more manageable steps. This not only makes your fears seem less daunting but also gives you a clear roadmap for overcoming them. For example, if you're afraid of starting your own business, you might set a goal to research business ideas for one hour each day. By taking small, consistent actions, you can make progress toward your goal and build your confidence along the way. Taking action also requires us to be persistent. Fear can be a stubborn adversary, and it may take time and effort to overcome it. But by staying committed to your goals and pushing through your fears, you can build resilience and strength that will serve you well in all areas of your life. In addition to taking action, it's also important to celebrate your successes, no matter how small. Overcoming fear is a journey, and each step forward is a victory worth celebrating. By acknowledging your progress and rewarding yourself for your efforts, you can stay motivated and continue to push for your fears. Taking action is the key to overcoming fear. By facing your fears head-on, setting goals, being persistent, and celebrating your successes, you can build the courage and confidence you need to live a fearless life. So, the next time you feel afraid, remember to take action. Step out of your comfort zone, face your fears, and watch as they begin to lose their power over you. Thank you for watching our video on overcoming fear. We hope you found it inspiring and informative. Remember, fear is just an illusion that holds us back from our true potential. Keep practicing the strategies we've shared, and soon you'll find yourself living a fearless life. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on personal growth and empowerment. Together, we can conquer our fears and achieve greatness. Have a wonderful day, and stay fearless.